it is perfect. It's going to happen. You just got that feeling that no matter what, it's going to happen. Hunting is not about the trophy. It's about the challenges that we face as hunters, and it is our choice how we pursue our prey. Hunting doesn't end when you spot your game. That's when the challenge begins. Closing the distance, becoming part of your surroundings, playing the wind, being patient, and waiting for that moment of truth. From the maximum highs to the ultimate lows, there is no way of predicting how things will turn out. For us, it's about the adventure. The journey. The moments that we share as a family. This, this is, is why, why we hunt. hunt. This, this is, is our choice. choice. Welcome to this week's The Choice, and The Choice is simple. We're heading to Manitoba. That's right, we're gonna go to Adrenaline Outfitters for bears. Big bears, bear, bear down, down, baby. That was funny. Marriage too long, and then you can start reading each other's minds. We both said bear and doubt at the same time. Did we? This week's lucky logo is Caldwell. Mm. Caldwell, man, if you're looking to stabilize your shooting, clean your guns, just keep everything tip-top shape, or, with non-typical, keep the animals out of your food plot. Okay, so if you happen to see the Caldwell logo, that was a really long description, at the end of the show, I'll tell you what to do with that. Now, what do you want? we're gonna get going. We got Russ, Shelly, Joel's son Jesse's out yep. there on his first bear hunt. So we got lots of footage to go, so let's get going, shall we? Let's go bear hunt. Bear okay. down. Do you want a marshmallow? No, I don't like marshmallows. Ugh. Do you want a s'more? No, but I know who does. With a couple of days left of the fall season, everything comes together. There are bears all over the trail cam photos. The wind is right. Russ and I are both free on the same day. It is perfect. And while this is happening, an even bigger bear comes in and he's a gorgeous, gorgeous black bear. So shiny, such a beautiful hide. Found the arrow at the at the bait, and uh, it is a bit far back. So we're gonna see if we can recruit some family trackers to uh, to give us a hand tomorrow uh, to go get this bear. Within half an hour, suddenly everything just got crazy. These came in, more came in, and this would be my first color phase. So that is that part's very exciting, but that black sure was beautiful too. But that's fine. After a very sleepless night and an early morning the next day, um, we were back out to the bush to, uh, to start the trailing, which I, I knew was going to be hard work. Once we're ready, um, put our, our camo step on, put our blaze orange on, and then off to the bush. We know where we saw him run. We saw my arrow drop there. Uh, so we'll start at the arrow. The only benefit was because it was the next day, uh, we did get to bring Luke out with us, and he ended up being the one to find the first sign on the trail so that we knew which trail the bear had, had taken. We are, uh, we, are out of, we are out of blood, we are following bear trails. But right now, I only really care about finding one bear trail and one bear. We're not gonna stop till we do, right? Yeah. Yes. There was a reward at the end, and there was my bear. You can see it. Go, honey. Okay, go. Hey, Paul, watch your face. Okay, I'm leaving you behind. I'm going to get you. Go take a look, Luke. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I got a color face black bear. And I can honestly say, although the shot may have been not been perfect, um, 
I can say we worked very hard for this bear. What do you think? Yeah. Well, Dad was guiding for caribou and for moose, who had to keep the base running. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. So that meant hauling in corn and grease through the bush at all hours of the morning, before school, after church, uh, you name it. We were keeping the base going. Was it worth it? Luke had a way of finding that that trail and the fact that he spotted that one spot of blood that got us started on the right trail. The day it was hot, he was patient and he would not give up. There was no, oh, are we done yet? We're never gonna find it. He just kept walking. He just kept, kept his spirits up and mine. Without that, the trail can seem a little bit longer than it actually is. Most of the time, we're hunting bears in the spring. And one of the biggest reasons why is pretty simple. It opens you up for the fall for other big game species. And also because you have turkeys or bears to hunt in the springtime, and we hunt bears. A couple points to remember with spring bear hunting is one, if you're looking for a, a fabulous hide, I, I mean, a lot of these bears, what they do is they have this molten hair underneath the black or the colored face bears and it makes it thicker. It actually makes them probably even appear about 15 to 20% bigger. Right, and in the springtime as they're coming out of hibernation, they still have all that hide and the, the guard hairs are still really shiny and the hides look really good until they start rubbing. Now that rubbing, you know, will occur normally, you know, really depending on the temperatures, but, but a lot of times you'll start seeing the younger bears rubbed, you know, it, heck, it could be middle of May, early May, you, you know what I mean? But most of the time it'll start carrying it through, but it's the first, it's, it's the smaller, younger bears that'll be rubbing first. So 2013 was a great year. Uh, we had a lot of hunters coming through camp. Uh, which is great for adrenaline. It's not so good for Russ's personal bear hunt. There were two bears on the bait when we got there. One blew off, one kind of just milled around while we got set up. and right at dusk and they started fighting and it was just time to leave. It was a great night. <laughs> All the bears were small and medium. Uh, nothing like the one we were actually after. And it was a great day in the middle of the week that uh, was great for the South Bay. I think we saw about six or seven bears and uh, uh, there was four bears in at once and they kind of spooked off and all came back in and, and one of them definitely was a shooter so didn't give me the shot right away I had to wait be patient he's right there that's my first shot of uh, with a kill zone 21, 22 yards, quartering away. It sure looked like hit him right where I was aiming. I didn't get a pass through, so I'm thinking I hit that offside shoulder. I got this new watch from Luke. It takes your heart rate. So I'm gonna check my heart rate. 119. I don't know if you can see it. But if my heart rate ever doesn't go up to 100, I'm gonna quit on that. Even though the bear didn't go that far, with all the other action around, and it was getting dusk, we decided we'd uh, head home, watch the footage, celebrate, and be there first thing in the morning, and still get back to work on time the next day. So the next morning we got in there, it was uh, 
beautiful morning, beautiful fall day. We were looking for my arrow uh, when we actually found my bear. It just hadn't gone that far. Um, so while we were actually gonna tell you, get ready to take some pictures of it, I heard the barrels clanking. Well, we're here in southern Manitoba. It's fall bear season. Uh, I was lucky enough this spring. I didn't get enough time to, to get out between the guiding and outfitting schedule, but set up a couple baits for me and Chell this fall. Uh, crazy action going on right now, so uh, hunting while the hunting's good. Uh, still got bears walking on the bait right now. Uh, we left the bear overnight. Uh, we had heard the moment we knew it was down, but just with the amount of bears around and, and uh, us having forgot the shotgun. That maybe it'd be better leaving in the morning. Got down into the 30s tonight, or last night, so I'm not too worried about hide or meat. He looks great, great hide. So we uh, made quick work of the photos and the hero shots and, and uh, got out of there in a hurry so that we didn't disturb it too bad because there was still two and a half, three weeks left of the season. There's many ways of hunting black bears. You have spot and stalk, you have bait sites. Up in Manitoba, you have thick, thick forest. And the best way for bear management for the population of bears is having the bait sites and being able to view the bears that are coming in so that you know what you're actually taking. Well, the big, right, Vicki, I mean, baiting bears is just like putting a food plot out for your white-tailed deer. That's it. The thing is, is you're able to sit there with your optics and you can see it when the bear go, you know, bends or, or moves over, you can see if it's a boar, you can see if it's a sow, you can see if it's, you know, I mean, I mean there's so many opportunities. And I think the biggest thing for all bear hunters, and that is when a bear commits to, to the area, to the site, is take your time. My name is Jesse Penner. I'm from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. In Manitoba, you have to wait till you're 12 to hunt, so on my 12th birthday, I immediately got my hunter safety from my dad's friend, Russ Miller. Hi, I'm Jesse. I'm in Manitoba. Um, a 10 point crossbow. I like the bikes. Terrible. Take the tank or push one. Secret? What? The bugs, if you don't move much, they kind of stay away from your face a little bit. You don't have to slap and jump. That's that's not true. What's that? It's not true. perfect weather, no wind. So me and my dad drove out to the stand. So we went in, but we walked in on a bear, so we knew it was gonna be a pretty good day. The bear left, and we went into the tree stand. And Before we even got our gear set up, it came back. that we saw absolutely nothing for a whole six hours. Sometimes there was two, sometimes there was three, and one time there was even four bears at one time. So this big bear, he walked off into the woods, and uh, I got ready with my 10-point crossbow, but he knew something was wrong, so he never strayed into the bait site. A 
Another benefit out of baiting for your bears is that it's not just the bears that are benefiting from you having that site out there. There's a lot of other animals, a lot of other creatures, critters getting ready for, for the winter time as well, and they benefit from those bait sites as well. Well, you got martens, you got skunks, I, I mean, you, 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 you got- Squirrels, mice, everything. But, but also, let's talk about all the other bears that are hitting that site. Right. I mean, you know, there's been numerous bait sites that, you know, we, we've seen 15 to 18 to 20 bears on one sit. And it also makes you realize the bear population, people don't think there's many out there. Oh. There's a bunch of bears out there, and that's what people need to understand, that you're not, you're not hunting an endangered species. I was going to shoot this nice shiny boar, but then this little bear came in and uh, fought with him and scared him off. It was getting later in the evening and uh, there was about four bears in the bait. Two of them were actually fighting. We sat here all day, saw about six or seven bears, but they came back three or four times each. It was ten minutes to go. You know what I decided? It's not the biggest bear ever, but it's my first bear. All right, buddy, let's go get the bike. We'll haul him out of here. Nicely done, Jesse. I'm proud of you, son. Hunting is awesome, and I'd have to thank my dad's friend Russ for helping with the hunter safety, my uncle Rod for helping me bait, Ralph and Vicky for sending us up with that awesome gear, and Dad, I just want to let you know that your hunting days are over because I'm going again next year, and you're the cameraman. Well, that was really cool, wasn't it? Do you I'm, like burnt marshmallows? No, I don't. I thought you did. Hey, listen, we want to congratulate it's everybody. Russ, Shelly, Jesse, I mean, that is awesome. And for for Jess to get his first bear. I know, that's really cool. Good job, guys. Hey, Joel, thanks for getting them out there. I mean, Russ and Shelly always take Luke out there oh, and everything, yeah. but so, I mean, that's really cool. That's what it's about. This that's week, the future. This week's lucky logo was Caldwell. Caldwell, lead sleds, bog pods, you name it, they got it. So if you happen to see the Caldwell logo, you need to log on to thechoicetv.com, click on lucky logo Easy. button, fill out some information, someone's gonna win. Something really cool from Caldwell. Absolutely. There's gonna be a lot of really cool stuff from all their manufacturers. Next week. Now next week, here's what we gotta do. Get all the family together. That's right. Get all the kids because it is a kids show. They all the kids, RJ and all his best all his buddies and the girls are they're hunting all over and they're showing us adults how to do it. Yeah, so thanks for making your choice. The choice. We'll see you next week. <laughs>